Hello everybody, it's me Andrew Duthie aka Floodblood yet again and in this video I'll be doing a review of the brand new Night Fox Red digital night vision device. About seven months ago in May 2021 I made a review of the Night Fox Cape, a head mountable digital night vision device which whilst bulky functioned great and was easily the best device of its kind at its price point. The review was well received, not least by Night Fox themselves, and last month they sent over their brand new device, the Night Fox Red, for me to review just in time for Christmas. But first, let's do the unboxing, shall we? Night Fox Red comes in a colourful cardboard box that clearly shows an outline of the device on the front as well as some quick start instructions on the back. Open it up and you are first greeted by the Night Fox Red itself. Underneath that is a thank you card with a 5% discount for signing up to Night Fox's newsletter. After that is the instruction manual detailing operation and specifications in five different languages. Next up is a very comfortable and well-made GoPro compatible head strap followed by the charging cable and mounting bracket. And finally we have the independent camera strap for using the device like a binocular. But let's get to the actual review. The Night Fox Red is a Gen 1 equivalent digital night vision head mounted binocular. Now I must again stress the Gen 1 aspect of this, as unlike contemporary military grade Gen 3 night vision that uses ambient light, Gen 1 devices like the RED still require an active IR light source to function at night. Externally, the Night Fox RED features a rather compact and lightweight polymer exterior with a smooth rubberized finish. On top of the device are a series of buttons for operation. First is the record button that can also be used to access the menu. Second is the digital zoom button which also doubles as the OK button while in the menu. Next is the two IR brightness buttons to brighten and dim the two IR illuminators. And finally there's the power button which can also be used to control the screen brightness. As is standard on many Night Fox products, the GoPro compatible head mount is simple and easy to install and use. Just slide it on the top groove and screw it in and you could use any GoPro accessory along with it. I must also mention the exceptionally well designed accompanying head strap with a comfortable leather back pad as well as leather backing for all the velcro ends. In fact, I'm probably going to use it as my main head cam strap from now on. The red also features a large, soft and very comfortable rubber eye hood. Great for concealing backlight and keeping you hidden. Also extra credit for the large nasal indent for us big nosed users. Open the rubber hatch above the eye hood for access to the SD card slot as well as a micro USB port for charging both the battery and transferring video footage to your PC. In addition, there is also a reset button that can be activated with a paper clip to restore the RED back to factory settings. The RED is powered by a single 18650 lithium ion battery with an operating time of around 3 hours. It's accessible from the bottom with a screwdriver but you'll likely never need to remove it as it can be recharged from the aforementioned USB port. Focusing the RED is done through an easily accessible adjustable knob just underneath the lens. And the RED features not one but two IR illuminators, one on each side of the main lens, with a wavelength of 940 nanometers making it invisible to wildlife with no visible glow. And now for performance. The Night Fox RED features a full HD 1920 by 1080 digital sensor operating at 30 fps with an impressive 46 degree field of view. Perfect for using indoors with minimal disruption to perspective. The screen resolution itself has also been improved to 480 by 360, allowing for a smaller body which further improves the device's ergonomics. 
As with previous Night Fox products, the red has 7 IR brightness settings, though the difference between the lowest and highest setting isn't particularly huge. It's also important as an airsofter to note that you will have to cycle through all the other IR brightness levels to attain the highest one, so I do recommend a switchable IR weapon light to maintain maximum stealth, as you will stand out to other night vision users with the IR on. On an unrelated note, my bright shiny jumper in this shot is actually black, which highlights the importance of checking the IR reflectivity of your clothing if you want to stay hidden. In addition, the red also has a 2x digital zoom, which, like the cape before it, is practically useless from a utility standpoint. Though the higher resolution and frame rate does make it an improvement. The recording functionality is simply fantastic. Not only is it now full HD, but it also records sound, though I have noticed the occasional flicker in the picture. Audio quality is decent enough. Though, frankly, this is the only night vision device that could even have audio in the first place at this price point, so I'm not really complaining. It must, however, be noted that as the microphone is situated quite close to the mouth, the audio from talking from a first person perspective can be quite loud uh, towards the viewer. So it's just something to go and keep in mind. I must, however, also mention that when I first switched the red on, the display was extremely dark and filled with static, which made me think I actually had a defective product before it suddenly cleaned up half an hour later. I have no idea why or how to replicate this, but there's a chance I might not be the only one. So give your device a chance if you ever encounter something similar. Ergonomically speaking, wearing the red has been an absolute dream. The higher resolution screen allows for a shorter body, which brings the weight balance of the device closer to your head instead of pushing it down on your nose. As mentioned before, the soft rubber eye hood and nasal indent makes for very comfortable wearing, while also hiding facial backlight, allowing you to stay hidden. Furthermore, the wide field of view gives you greater situational awareness and also reduces the adjustment time needed to effectively use the device. Frankly, I think Nightfox have truly outdone themselves on the design here. And now for the price. At £250, or 343 US dollars, the Nightfox Red with its full HD capabilities, head strap, and audio recording is just under double the price of its predecessor, the Night Fox Cape. But even then, it's still significantly cheaper, ergonomic, and more capable than any other Gen 1 digital or analog night vision on the market. Now, that isn't to suggest that the red is anywhere close to military grade. It's not. Please, for the love of God, don't use this in actual combat. But it's still very impressive to see how Night Fox has managed to squeeze so much while costing so little. So there we go. Ultimately, Night Fox Red is a remarkable improvement over its predecessor. It's smaller, lighter, has HD, and even records sound, which is pretty amazing, especially considering it only costs 340 US dollars. Now, if you already have a PVS-14, this obviously isn't a night vision for you. But if you're new and just starting out and want to go hiking or maybe airsoft, then you'd be hard pressed to find another device better than this one at this price point. In the end, I hope you enjoyed watching this review as much as I did making it. Like and subscribe if you want some more. And as always, have a nice day.